Hi guys, so welcome back to my YouTube video again as requested by some of you guys to see the difference between the GMT Master 2 as well as the Rolex Oyster Perpetual in the 34mm uh, in terms of how it's going to look like on my wrist so I'm just, today is just going to be a quick video on how it actually wears on my 6.5 inch wrist so I've ever actually measured is about six and a half inch wrist. Um, I would say it's between 6.25 to 6.5 inch wrist. So if you guys are really interested to know, I've already telling I'm telling you the wrist size. And now let's get right into it. So on the left, as you can see, is the famous Sprite, which is known as the Rolex GMT Master II Sprite. And uh, it's one of the beautiful watch that I have have in my collection. And my recent purchase is with the Rolex Oyster Perpetual in the 34mm case size in the Oyster style bracelet. So it's ex absolutely beautiful. Alright, so here we have it's a comparison of these two. One in 40mm, which is the GMT Master 2, while the other one is 34mm of the Oyster Perpetual. So now let's get into it. So let's let me try on the 34 millimeters first to show you guys how it actually wears on my wrist. So this is the 34 millimeters as you can see. All right, so I'm just gonna put it on my wrist. I don't have my camera stand again today, so just bear with me. I will just pop this on and show you guys. Okay, so. Put it on my wrist. Right, so here is a wrist shot of the Oyster Perpetual in the 34 millimeters. So as you can see, it's actually not that small on my wrist. It's it's actually okay, and I kind of like it something small so it looks really cute actually so I really love this OP as you can see love the blue dial how it actually radiates out like a sunburst blue dial so this is how it actually wears on my wrist 6.25 to 6.5 inch wrist so yeah it looks really good Okay, I'm just going to take this out now. We'll try on the GMT Master 2. So, honestly speaking, I would say that this is not something that is actually small in terms of the OP uh, 34mm because I feel that some of you may feel that okay this watch is small but actually in actual fact it's actually not that small so uh hope you guys don't feel that it's because it looks small my hand uh, or rather a small case size and you guys not going to try it so please try it and at the ad so that you have a feel of how it's actually look like on your wrist and this is really well Okay, now I'm going to put on the GMT Master 2, which is the 40mm case size. Okay, so this is the Sprite, so in the Jubilee bracelet, as you can see. Alright, so I'm just going to wear this on to show you guys. Okay. Okay, so I've put it on. So as you can see, it's not big at all um, on the GMT Master 2 Sprite. Um, it looks really good on my wrist, on a 6.5 inch wrist. So I think it's okay. Um, so you, some of you guys may feel that, okay, it looks a little bit big on me or whatsoever. But honestly speaking, it's not. Just like I got a Tudor 1926 and some of you commented saying that it's a 41mm. But in actual fact, the Tudor 1926 is a 36 millimeters. Alright, so maybe it's the angle of how I actually video the watch, the wrist shot. But nonetheless, this is the 41, uh, the 40mm case size for the Rolex GMT Master 2 Sprite. 
and I really love it because it's really beautiful. Right, can't go wrong, one of my daily wearers whenever I travel. So I'm enjoying this a lot. Just like I'm enjoying this, this has a lot of wrist time as well because it's a very beautiful blue dial in my collection. All right. There it's folks so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up like and comment and subscribe so i would like you guys to please subscribe to my channel all right most of you guys are just viewing the videos and not subscribing so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned to more watch collecting videos all right see you guys in the next video bye